What's going on, guys? I wonder, or even wonder, I'm pretty sure that most of you are wondering what the heck you are looking at in front of you. So, if you're not familiar with the blogging community, um, I've been blogging for a couple of years. Um, met a lot of great people on there. Luckily, they're also on, a lot are on Twitter, but some are not. So, I was told as a matter of factly that Shane from Shoebox Legends was not the first person to do a Franken set, but you know what? He's the one that inspired me to do that. What a Franken set is, is you're just one of every card number um, to complete a set. One through 792, which is the number of cards in most of the tops sets. But yeah, he was my inspiration. He's the one that blogs about it. And I was always interested in it. And then at a card show about a year ago, um, I was able to pick up, I think the number came out to just less than 200 buybacks. And I got them for like 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks, something like that. So like 10 cents a card. And that's a lot of what you see there. But then I've accumulated more through trades on Trading Card Database. I found a few here and there on Com C when they're cheap. Um, I've had some great Twitter followers that have either traded to, them, to me or a lot have just sent them to me because buybacks are throwaways to a lot of people. Um, a lot of you don't like them, but I think that's one of the things that's great about the hobby. One man's junk is another man's treasure, and I absolutely love them. So... I've been planning to start this project for a while, and now that I've started the video aspect of it, I think it's time. So, what I'm going to do is, over time, probably going to go through one page at a time, and we're going to put this set together. Uh, we may have holes. We may have duplicates, and we have to decide which card we want. I know in one case, I have three of the same card number. Um, from my set, different than... Shane, he's the who I go to. He's at Shoebox Legends. Um, he doesn't use update cards. He doesn't use traded cards. And he doesn't use Bowman cards. Well, I'm going to make my set no rules because there are some things that I like from Bowman. There are some particular Bowman sets, um, some prospects that I may like that didn't pan out. So it's going to be really no rules. It's just going to be, it's just got to be a buyback. Um, most of what I have are the Rediscover Tops from 2017, but I have slowly been acquiring other ones. So, I don't know how many cards are here. I'm going to guess what are we probably in the four to 500 range, but we can see that it's about a six and a half inch stack. So, take it for what it's worth. Um, feel free to comment below with how many you think it is. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to get started soon. This is just, like I said, initial post to talk about some of my plans. And I really want to get this started soon. I also have a huge order that I went through and picked specifically. Picked out cards that I wanted for a multitude of reasons. Uh, some are for me. Some are for other people. Um, but that's going to be fun. But I'm going to wait until we get through all this, which is going to be quite a while, before I start trying to integrate those. Right now, we're just going to go one page at a time, or if these posts seem too short, maybe we'll go three, four pages at a time and just start putting this set together. So hopefully you'll be interested in this. Hopefully you'll be along for the ride. I know that on the in the blogosphere that Shane's buyback posts are pretty popular. So... I hope that some of y'all will enjoy it, and we will get going here hopefully in the next week. Until later, happy collecting.